Hey everyone, my name is Rui and welcome to the Extension 1 math video series. So just like I did with the advanced video series, I'll start off today by just talking a bit about the new syllabus and how that may affect your studying throughout the year. So obviously there's going to be some concepts that just were never in HC math at all and now made their way into three units. Pretty much those concepts are the Pigeonol principle, differential equations, vectors and stuff involving the normal approximation. That is pretty much it. So hopefully that will give you a really strong idea about what you should not be expecting to see in your past papers come your study time. Now, here is what I think the problem is. I think the hardest thing about being an extension one student is dealing with the fact that a lot of stuff has been moved around among the courses. For example, stuff like long binomial theorem proof, that's now gone, hopefully. Stuff like parametric that will really focus on lockers, that's probably also gone. Euclidean geometry is also gone now, so you have to use vectors to do pretty much as many of your geometrical proofs now. And on the other hand, some introductions include, for example, exponential growth and decay, rates of change. That stuff used to be math advanced, but now it's actually in extension. And don't know if you remember those really, really weird square root of f of x curves, 1 over f of x curves that you saw at the start of year 11. Yeah, you did have technology to do it, or at least I hope you did because the syllabus said so, but believe it or not, those concepts actually came from the MX2 course, so that's literally a huge drop down in difficulty, or hopefully that's the case. So pretty much, perhaps the main problem will be that you may need to be prepared to look around a lot of past papers, like you might need to dig through two unit, three unit, and I really hope not, but maybe even some four unit papers to really maximize your exposure to the possible questions that will probably crop up on the exam. So don't expect to be able to do those special tactics anymore like doing papers under exam conditions because I have a bad feeling that your paper will perhaps be really different to what they've had in the past. Thanks for watching everyone.